Okay guys, time for a bit of serious talk in this video. So basically I've been doing the whole playing games, doing YouTube, being a big child for a while now and Basically, there comes a time in your life where you got to make some serious life decisions. Um, you know, this has been taken away from family time and stuff like that. And you just basically hit those crossroads. So I've had to make a decision and I've done what any logical person would do. And I've quit my job so that I can keep playing games. Okay, no, no more full screen. That freaks me out doing a full screen thing. Uh, we're back to the normal screen. I'll probably just put some gameplay of me doing Labyrinth or something like that over so there's something going while we talk. Just quickly, uh, uh, in editing, I realized I forgot to put in something important that I really wanted to cover as well. Um, and that is gonna be related to a giveaway we're doing over on Discord. So when I said with the 100K sub giveaway, we were gonna do more over on Discord and stuff like that. Uh, we are doing a giveaway that's gonna have a $100, a $50 and a $20 prize for first, second and third. And also uh, some Disco Nitros for remaining some some of the remaining places and also just some random discord nitro giveaways as well so we're doing a bit of fun over there um, basically what it's going to be is the theme is going to be vulcan and afk arena so you can make anything a video a meme um artwork basically anything you want a story i don't even it doesn't matter um you can enter it over in my discord i'm not going to look at them at all uh it will be voted by the community so you can upvote or downvote uh entries and then also at the end of it i ain't gonna to see any of them until the end which is the end is going to be around january 7 all the details are over there um but yeah basically i'm going to go through them all at the end give them a score that's going to add to the upvote downvote score and then we will announce the winners hopefully we get some funny entries some good entries i'm really keen to see what people can kind of up with. So just a good way to have a chance of winning a prize because, uh, you know, the standard giveaways are always low odds, but hey, at least you can impact it on this one. Big shout out to all the mods on Discord. I, I love you guys. You put in so much work for me. They've organized all of this. Uh, so massive, massive thank you to them. But yeah, jump over to my Discord link in the description if you want to be a part of it, enter it, or just see what other people make and then um, and vote on it. And then I will do a video at the end of it where I do do my live reactions to all of them, give them the votes, and then we will announce the winners. But anyway, back into the, the serious discussion. Basically, I just wanted to have a chat. Um, like I said, I wanted to make a bit of a meme out of it, but basically what's happened is, and I haven't come to this decision lightly, so um, I've been thinking about it for about six months seriously now um the idea of going full-time on youtube um basically just for a bit of background for those that want to know is i started youtube probably like three years ago so my son's just turned three and i started doing it just after he was born basically the reasoning being uh i was playing wow at that stage very seriously uh, i had my son and i'm like wow i, I cannot actually invest eight to 10 hours a day into playing WoW anymore. So I decided to kick back into mobile games because before that I had uh, played a lot of Summoner's War and stuff like that. So I decided to go back to mobile games. Um, then I found uh, the game Might and Magic Elemental Guardians, which was my first game on YouTube. Started playing that, realized there was no content for it. And I was like, you know, why not make some beginner guides and stuff like that? And that's where the whole thing started. Went through a bunch of different games, eventually landed after about, I want to say like a year, a year and a half, I landed on AFK Arena when I was at probably about 4,000 subscribers, something like that, really small. Um, and then I just fell in love with the game, the way it just really, you can play it as much as you want. Like I can spend a whole day playing AFK Arena or I can spend 10 minutes a day and get everything I need to get done done so that was like a really important thing for me when i found afk arena plus it's just really cool really cool heroes now with all the cool collaborations and all that sort of stuff um so i started going really serious into afk arena and before i started doing afk arena i was probably doing like maybe one two to maybe up to three videos per week um and then afk arena was just like really content rich like the, i just felt like there was always something i could make um so i started doing the daily videos and then we got into uh viewer summon land which is just exploding and that's the cool thing about this is i will be able to finish a lot more of these viewer summons that i think we got like 70 or 80 people on the list so this is going to give us the opportunity to do that but once we got into that stage, then I was like, well, I've got my daily content that I'm loving making and it's really fun. And now I've got this viewer summon list, which 
people letting me do the funnest part of the game for them, why not? So then we started doing two videos a day. Um, and then about probably three or four months ago, when I started getting really serious about thinking of going into full-time YouTube, I made my second channel. Now this was like, this was like when I was considering it, it like wasn't a thing I was going to do. Um, I just made the second channel because I was like, I need to have something else just in case. Um, so I started building that second channel. Plus the thing about the second channel is I play so many games. It's not funny. Like every new game that comes out, I pretty much go through, I do the re-rolling. I play the early like week or so just because I love that stage of games. Um, and so that's why I started the second channel, basically just to record whatever I was doing on the side. Um, and so now that's doing all right. We're actually doing a giveaway over there at the moment because we just hit 15,000 subscribers. Um, and obviously we just did 100,000 on this one. So the 100,000 had nothing to do with it. It was it was a decision that I made about a month ago. No matter where we're at, we're going to go full time. Um, and yeah, so the second channel started going as well. And basically once that got established as well, I was like, okay, I think I can have a crack at this and make it happen, hopefully. <laughs> like there's a lot of doubt that goes through your mind. I'd been at the same job, for those that don't know, I am an electrician. Um, I'd been at the same company for my apprenticeship and all the way through for the last 12 years. So when I made the decision to leave, it was a big decision because it, it was a decent job, paid pretty well, um, really stable, had a pretty solid position there. And it wasn't really going anywhere. And so it's a big decision to make these calls. But the, basically the reason that I made this decision was so that I could just... Basically, I feel like I've got my electrical qualification. If this goes to hell, um, I can always go back to that. I can always go back and get a job somewhere with someone. Like it's gonna, it's like it's my fallback option. It's not an issue. And the thing for me was, um, I had sort of like neglected my health uh, before I had my son and started YouTube because those two things starting at the exact same time ate a lot of my time. I used to be very serious into like meal preparation, counting calories, um, fitness, all that. I kept training. I never gave up on my training, but my meal prep, my, you know, my healthiness didn't go to go to crap, but it just slacked off a little bit for a few years. And I really wanted to have the time to get back into all that sort of stuff. And also while my kids are young, my, my daughter's one, my son is three. They're in that really young stage. They're still at home a lot, still a lot of fun stuff to do with them. I figured this would give me more time to spend with my family um, while, while they're in that young stage. And then, you know, once they go back to school, if this isn't going so well or whatever, I can always go back and get a job. Um, and then, you know, I'm working while they're at school and then I can come home and hang with them in the afternoons. But basically the other thing with this is I just thoroughly enjoy this. And whether, when it came to, do I want to earn more money by working a job or have the better family lifestyle, health lifestyle, you know, sleeping more than five to six hours a day um, and still be able to hang out, play games, stream more. Um, that's something else. We will be doing a lot more streaming. Uh, I'm thinking over the next two weeks or so, I still got a bunch of stuff I want to set up. Um, I'm trying to work on a couple other things on the side as well. Uh, just sort of income related to have myself another source of income besides just the YouTubes because, you know, don't want the algorithm to bone me or anything like that. So we're gonna work on a couple other things um, in the background um, and just setting up the new studio, uh, setting up, you know, my taxes, my life insurances, which I've got, uh, income protection, like all the boring stuff that needs to be set up um, to have a bit of security in your life. That's what I'm gonna be working on over the next couple of weeks. Plus obviously my daily videos and stuff like that. Um, and I will squeeze a few streams in here and there. Um, so the streams will be very random. So you'll have to follow me on Twitch if you wanna catch up with those. Uh, but basically, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stream at times that feel right to me during the day. Um, my plan is to sort of do this stuff, maybe get up between 3.30 and 4.30 um, and then have the day until 3.30 to do this stuff and then head home and do family stuff. So this studio that we're in at the moment is at my parents' house. So this is going to be like my workspace and then I can go home and I've got my home space. So it sort of gives that separation on uh, the two things. 
But yeah, I'm going to stream at times that feel right to me, feel comfortable, like not first thing like I used to in the morning. I'll sort of plan on maybe doing a bit of cardio in the morning, doing some recording, um, then maybe going to the gym and then coming home and streaming when I'm feeling pumped up and ready to go so I can bring a bit more energy to you guys as opposed to the way I used to stream, which was as soon as I woke up at like 2.30, 3.30 in the morning and I was cooked, my voice was nowhere and it sucked. So that's what we're going to be testing out. Um, and then with the streams, we're going to, I'll just chat to the guys who come to stream um, and see what time sort of works. And then we'll try and find a good balance and then set up a streaming schedule of probably, I'm, I'm thinking like four days at the start. We can ramp it up eventually, but I just want to get a feel for it and work into it like that. Um, but yeah, and the other thing that I want to mention is it's not the, like, because I know some people may be looking at this thinking, you idiot. You quit a job you've had for 12 years to play games. What are you doing? Um, I, ju I just want to let you guys know, not that anyone really cares, but just so you guys know, I had, didn't make this decision lightly. Uh, me and the missus had a lot of conversations about it, a lot of discussion. She was very supportive, wanted me to do it. Um, and basically, we looked at it financially and I'm, I'm fine. I'm, I'm not going to go homeless. I'm going to be okay. It's basically the gist that I wanted to get to. Um, we're going to be fine. We're going to be able to make repayments. We're going to be able to do all that sort of stuff. Uh, we're not going to have any issues. So just to cover that off, because I know some people will be like, what are you doing? But, um, but yeah, we should be good. Put ourselves into a financial position over the last sort of five to six years where I should be safe to do this to the point where if it goes to nothing and I completely fail at it, I can just go back to work and we will be fine as a family. So I haven't put my kids, my wife, my family, anything like that at risk. It should be all good. But um, that's pretty much all that I wanted to talk about. I know it's just been a long talking nothing video. So a lot of people probably left. For those who are still sticking around, thank you. Be sure to go over and follow me on Twitch because like I said, I don't have set times at the moment. So I'll just be streaming randomly over the next couple of weeks uh, to see what you guys would like me to do. But uh, yeah, we can discuss it more over there. Just wanted to make a video letting you guys know where I'm at um, and where life is heading. So I'm hoping this is going to be good for us because once again, I should be able to make very consistent content on YouTube. Hopefully it'll be better now because I'll have more time to play the game, get content to make, research ideas, stuff like that. So hopefully we can do that. So I'm looking at the two videos a day still. Um, and then obviously a stream on top of that would be nice. And then I'm looking at bumping up my second channel up to a video every day as well. And we'll just see where we go from there. But anyway, guys, thanks for listening. If you're still around, I uh, hope you guys have an awesome day and I'll look forward to seeing the next one. Cheers.